Hi everyone, Scott here. Got my Bible. Hope you have yours. Let's talk. Let's talk about someday. When we moved across the United States from Oregon to Indiana some five years ago, my family and I were so struck by what we saw in the Badlands of South Dakota that we decided to return and take a family vacation there. And we did exactly that a couple of years later. We wanted to return and do some hiking and do some sightseeing, so we put aside some money, chose a route, and researched hotels and things like that. We, we planned for the trip. Uh, we got everything planned out except for one small detail. My wife was concerned about the status of our aging minivan. We had just put 2,000 miles on it, and she was worried that the vehicle was not up for the trip out to the Badlands, so she asked me, to go take it into the mechanic so he could take a look at it and give it a thumbs up. I told her that was a, probably a good idea. Now, I have to add here that I really did have the best of intentions. It was just that our mechanic was out of town about 40 minutes away and I had a lot on my plate with preaching and teaching classes. Besides, the whole thing was like a month away or more until we left on our trip for the Badlands. I had plenty of time, I told myself. And these are the reasons I gave myself. These were the excuses that I gave myself as we inched closer to our family vacation until one day time was up. We were scheduled to leave in the morning and I had never made that appointment to take the van in. It hadn't been acting up, I thought to myself. I'm sure it'll be just fine, I told myself. And you know where this is going. We started out on our family road trip and we had such a wonderful time on our trip out there. We had stopped at the world's largest iron skillet in Illinois. We went fossil hunting as a family in Iowa, and we even stopped at Laura Ingalls Wilder, her homestead in Minnesota. Uh, finally, we made it to the state of South Dakota. We made it to our location, and we went out to do some hiking in one of the more remote parts of the national park. Took some great pictures of owls, and deer and bison and things like that. Really enjoyed trekking through the beautiful and bleak landscape. But it was really hot, and so when we were done hiking, we were going back and expecting to uh, hop in the minivan and crank up the, uh, the cold AC and just enjoy ourselves. And so we got in, I turned the ignition on, and you know the noise. Click, click, click. The battery had died. Later we found out that the thing had been operating at about 20% the whole trip and actually needed to be replaced even before we had even left. But here we were in this rugged terrain without any cell service with five very hot and very tired children and one dead battery. It was not a good moment. We were able to eventually get it fixed and continue on with our plans, but that's not really the point. The point is that I know I'm not alone with this someday problem. You see, we all carry this list around in our head of the things that we intend to do someday. The problem is that sometimes these to-do lists are on our spiritual someday lists. For example, maybe we may know we need to be reading and studying our Bible more consistently, and we intend to do that someday. Or perhaps we've been convicted about the importance of giving our whole life over to Jesus, including our entertainment, our finances, our, and our relationships. But we're going to get around to doing that someday when we have time. Or perhaps, even more pressing, we know what we need to do to become a member of God's family, and we fully intend to embrace repentance and baptism for the forgiveness of our sins. Someday. Yeah. I know I should not have put off getting my van looked over before we went on that trip. It ended up being a very foolish decision that cost me some time, discomfort, and not a very happy look from my wife. It wasn't fun, but putting off spiritual matters until someday is even more perilous. Jesus once put it like this in Matthew 11:21, where he very simply said, Woe to you! Friend, I urge you to take a look at your spiritual someday list and see if there's anything on that list that could be started today while there's still time. We must listen to the words of James when he wrote in James chapter 4, verses 13 through 14. 
Come now, you who say, today or tomorrow we will go into such and such a town and spend a year there and trade and make a profit. Yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. We never know how long we have until our someday runs out. Don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. God bless you and thanks for watching.